All right, to the other news of the day. Developing now, a four-year-old boy is reportedly in critical condition after a shooting at a north side home. Before he went to breaking news this evening, Russ McQuaid filed this report. Another Indy neighborhood, another quiet Sunday afternoon, rocked by the news that a four-year-old has been wounded by gunfire. IMPD detectives are leaning toward a finding that the shooting of the youngster inside this house in the 3600 block of North Dearborn Street was an accident. Whether that gun was in someone else's hand or the child's when the trigger was pulled has yet to be revealed. Because a child was injured and there was a gun involved, additional investigators were called to the scene. Our partners with the Marion County Forensic Services Agency are also on scene. The Department of Child Services has also been contacted in connection with this incident as a standard procedure. The number of fatal shootings of children in Indianapolis are way down compared to the summer of 2023, but at least five times since the start of last year, the Marion County prosecutor has filed criminal charges against adults who were around when children found a gun and shot themselves or another youngster, usually by accident. One of those times was last February in the 3700 block of North Dearborn Street, a block north of today's shooting when a two-year-old fatally wounded himself in the head and his mother was later charged with neglect of a dependent resulting in death. I live here in this neighborhood, and this is the third child here in this, in this community to get shot because of a child finding a gun thinking it's a toy, and we need to do better. If you have association with people to where you have to have this in your possession all the time, change the association of people. These babies don't even have a chance because of our parents are fearful of what's going on in our neighborhoods. As is always, an IMPD detective will write up a report, send it to the Marion County prosecutor, and it'll be up to the prosecutor to determine if a crime has occurred and if anyone should be charged. On the northeast side, Russ McQuaid, CBS4 News.